In this problem, we're told that we have a curve on a four-lane road that has a length of 1,000 feet, and it connects an entrance grade of 2% and an exit grade of negative 3%. We're asked to determine the design speed for this road. So we're given the length, and that's L for vertical curves. A is the algebraic difference in grades. We can determine that based on what we're given. A positive 2% entrance grade, a negative 3% exit grade, and that's going to be an algebraic difference in grades A of 5%. We know our a fundamental equation for vertical curves is L equals K times A. Rewritten, we can have that K equals L divided by A because we're given L and we can determine A based on what we're given. Now we weren't explicitly told this is a vertical curve, but given the gr that we have grades, we can determine that this is a vertical curve and not a horizontal curve. And we're going to plug in the values that we were given. So we have a thousand foot long curve. Five is our algebraic difference in grades. So the rate of vertical curvature K is 200. That means that we need to go 200 feet to have a 1% change in grade. We can use the Ashto Green Book for table for crest vertical curves, rate of vertical curvature for stopping site distance. We know it's got to be stopping site distance because it's a four lane road, so passing site distance isn't going to apply here. And so we basically just need to look through this table and see where we're going to get to 200 for our rate of vertical curvature. And we see it's just below, just above 65 miles per hour for our design speed, but it's well below 70. So this curve wouldn't meet the design specifications for 70 miles an hour. So the correct answer for this one is 65 miles per hour. And we're actually a little bit a little bit more conservative than that, so that's that's fine, but our nearest design speed is 65 miles per hour.